Hello guys, in my previous lecture I have told you about the family Solanaceae part 1 in which we have studied the systematic position, classification according to Bentham and Hooker's system of classification, the general characters including the geographical distribution, habit of the members of family Solanaceae, then root, stem, leaves, then floral characters like inflorescence, flower and fruit including uh, floral diagram, floral formulae. So up till now we have discussed this much. Now in this today's Solanaceae part 2 lecture let us have a look on the learning objectives of today's lecture. These are like this. Diagnostic characters of Solanaceae and economic importance of family Solanaceae. So today we will begin by studying the diagnostic characters of the family Solanaceae. So diagnostic characters are also called as key characters or distinguishing characters. So they are known as key characters. We know that a key is used to unlock a particular lock. So when we are on the field and we are having unknown specimens, then we try to describe the unknown specimens and on the basis of the easily observable characters and with the help of the key we try to identify the particular unknown specimen of the plant. So here the key characters or distinguishing characters are only a few characters 4 to 5 in number but they are peculiar or unique to that particular family. If you are successful or if you are able to have a good hold on key characters or a diagnostic characters then you can easily identify the unknown specimen and assign or attribute it to a particular family. So let us have a look on the diagnostic characters of family Solanaceae. The first character says herbs or shrubs rarely trees. Now particularly the plant in question or specimen in question will be a herb or shrub or rarely it will be a tree. Then the another character says leaves are alternate and extipulate. Phyllotaxy of the leaves in the particular family, in this particular family is alternate phyllotaxy. That means on each node a single leaf arises. That means alternate type of phyllotaxy. And leaves are without any stipule that is extipulate. Then third diagnostic character is flowers are bisexual. That means they are having androsium as well as gynosium then flowers are actinomorphic. Actinomorphic flowers means the symmetry that is when it is having that type of radial symmetry then we can cut the flower into two equal halves by any plane of division that is called as actinomorphy. Then flowers are pentamerous. What is mean by pentamerous? Pentamerous means the floral whorls or floral parts are in the number of five, penta means five or in the multiple of five like uh, five sepals, five petals, five stamens like that. Then the fourth character is ovules are uh, bilocular, uh, particularly that is ovary, ovary is a bilocular, it should be ovary. Carpels obliquely pl uh, placed, placentation is exile. That means the ovules are arising from the ovary, from the axis of the ovary that is called as exile placentation. Fruit type is berry or capsule. In the previous lecture we have seen that tomato plant then Vidania somnifera these plants are having berry type of fruit whereas the datura stramonium or datura species are having capsule type of fruit. So with the help of these five characters you can identify the family Solanaceae. If these five characters are in combination in a particular unknown specimen then you can say that the particular unknown specimen belongs to family Solanaceae. Then we will study the economic importance of the family Solanaceae. So in our syllabi it is said that uh, we should study the economic importance of a particular family. Economic importance means how much the plants are valuable or what are the values of plants, financial values that we have to study negative or positive one. So economic importance of the family Solanaceae has been categorized into uh, four categories. First one is ornamental plants. Ornamental plants means the plants 
which beautify a garden or a park or a roadside or a home so they are planted for the aesthetic purpose then the second category is the product that is called as tobacco so tobacco is uh, is obtained from a member of this family solanaceae that we shall study then third category is food plants so in our day to day life we consume food and vegetables so which are the plants of this family solanaceae that we consume as a vegetable that we shall study and last category is medicinal plants that means if we are suffering from a disease or ailment or pain then the pain reliever or the uh, remedy or medicine that are the sources what are the sources of plants in this family that give us medicines that we shall study in this so first of all ornamental plants so in this image there are two images on the left hand side you can see day jasmine on the right hand side you can see the night jasmine so botanical name of day jasmine is sistrum diurnum and botanical name of night jasmine is sistrum nocturnum so uh, diurnum and nocturnum these are the different species and genus is the same that is sistrum so these sistrum species are planted in gardens or parks for their beautiful flowers the flowers are fragrant also and they are attractive also then the second ornamental plant belonging to family solanaceae is brunsfelsia pauciflora so this is commonly called as brazil rain tree it is also grown for its fragrant and magnificent flowers the third plant belonging to family solanaceae is nicotiana alata commonly known as tobacco jasmine it is having attractive white flora then petunia hybrida is one of the ornamental plant of family solanaceae they are having divine beautiful flowers white flowers and for that beauty and aesthetic nature they are planted in pots in gardens and parks then this is petunia violacea violet colored beautiful flowers magnificent flowers for this beauty they add beauty to the garden to the park to the road side so these plants are planted then salpiglossis sinuata this is also having a beautiful flowers and it is in category of the ornamental plants then this one uh, shijanthus pinnatus in my previous lecture also i have given you the reference of this particular plant shijanthus pinnatus so you should remember that in family solanaceae usually there are five stamens but in shijanthus this is a exception one it is having only two stamens and they are having attractive flowers insects are attracted for pollination and these shijanthus spinatus are planted in gardens then this plant solanum dull camera it is also an ornamental plant it is having beautiful violet colored flowers you can also observe the convent shape cone like shape of the fused anthers then coming to second category of economic importance that is the product that i have discussed with you that is, that is tobacco so nicotiana tabacum is the name of the plant belonging to family malvaceae and this plant yields a product that is called as tobacco so how this tobacco is obtained leaves are dried made into tobacco dried and crushed and they are made into tobacco and used universally in cigarette in bd cigar pipes and hookah as well as for chewing and snuffing so we know that in our society we can see the people smoking cigarettes bd cigar pipes hookah which is a bad habit but they are 
um, addicted to it so none can help that so snuffing here the word snuffing has come snuffing means inhaling inhaling the tobacco powder leaf powder and initially it is said that snuffing leads to sneezing and when snuffing leads to sneezing it is the characteristic of a beginner snuffing beginner snuffer who is a beginner it is also used in medicine tobacco is also used in medicine as sedative and antispasmodic sedative means soothing or having leading to sleep and antispasmodic that means it is acting against the spasms spasm means invol involuntary contraction of the muscles or muscular tissue nicotiana rustica is also used for similar purposes all the purposes that i have just mentioned uh, that nicotiana tabacum nicotiana rustica is also used for the same purposes then coming to next category that is food plants so here you can see tubers of solanum tuberosum commonly called as potato or alu are used throughout the world as a common vegetable and also used for the production of starch dextrin and several alcohols and some other industrial products so here in picture you can see the curry made from the potato then the potato chips it is one of the food product that in our day to day life we consume then potato starch powder is also extracted from the potato then potato dextrin is also made from it is uh, like a sugar from the potato then alcohol industrial alcohol is also obtained from the potato then the second food plant is the tomato or tomato botanically it is known as solanum lycopersicum earlier or the old name was lycopersicon esculentum now it is been changed it is known as solanum lycopersicum fruits of this tomato are used as a delicious vegetable and they are eaten raw also in the picture you can see on the left hand side you can recognize what is it yes it is your favorite tomato soup it is a fine starter then on the right hand side a boy is eating a raw tomato then the next food plant is solanum melongena it is commonly called as brinjal egg plant or bengan so fruits of this brinjal are eaten as vegetables so on the right hand side you can see the plant having brinjal and the brinjal fruit and on the left hand side you can see the famous dish prepared from this brinjal that is bengan ka bharta it is actually favorite of all of us and it is actually originated from the punjab region of north india now coming to the next plant that is commonly called as chilies or mirch or red pepper in english and in botanical language it is called as capsicum annuum and capsicum frutescens so the fruits of this capsicum annuum are they are dried and they are ground and made into fine powder and that powder is added for flavor to all our curries so this chili or the mirch or the red pepper has its origin in mexico so we were not we indians were not knowing this plant up to recent past then another use of this chili is one virginian you can see in the picture virginia virginian wine is also prepared from this chili now the last category of the economic importance is medicinal plants so the first medicinal plant of this family solanaceae is atropa belladonna commonly known as 
Belladonna. It is having bell shaped corolla, that is why the name Belladonna or deadly nightshade. Roots, the whole plant is highly poisonous. The plant is found in Himalayan region up to 12,000 feet height. Roots yield a powerful alkaloid called as atropine. Alkaloid is a complex organic compound found in the plants that is used in belladonna plaster. So in the picture you can see belladonna plaster. Here that belladonna plaster is applied on the region where pain is there and it is pain reliever. Then atropine is also used in tinctures. It is a medicine that is mixed with alcohol and then given and then it is a pain reliever. It is also used for dilating pupils of eyes for eye testing. So when we visit an ophthalmologist for our eye testing then sometimes the ophthalmologist they use this atropine for dilating or extend, ex extending or making wider the pupils of our eyes. The next plant, medicinal plant of this family is Datura stramonium, commonly known also as Datura. Leaves and flowers are the source of the drug. Drug, is, drug means nothing but the medicine. Stramonium that is used in asthma and its seeds are deadly poisonous. So asthma is a kind of respiratory infection in which the person suffering from asthma is having trouble in breathing. So this is the fruit. Which type of fruit is this? This is a septicidal capsule fruit of the family of this Datura belonging to family Solanaceae. Then the next medicinal plant is Hyosiamus niger or commonly called as Hinbane. Leaves yield the alkaloid hyoscyamine, which is used in treating asthma and whooping cough. So, whooping cough it is also highly contagious disease and it is uh, also the infection of the respiratory tract. So, to relieve from the pain of this whooping cough and to relieve from the pain of asthma, these leaves or this alkaloid or the medicine hyoscyamine is used that is yielded by Hyosiamus niger. So these are the fruits of this Hyosiamus niger. In the previous lecture I have told you about the persistent calyx. So it, these fruits are also showing you the persistent calyx. Hope you have enjoyed this lecture and liking my videos. So I request you to subscribe and like and share the videos. So in future also I will come with more and more videos. You can comment me on the comment box. Thank you very much.